And we're live. Uh, what's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? My name is Blitzwinger. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new LEGO DC Super Villain stream. As promised, we are back at it again. Ready to rock and ready to roll with a brand new stream. Of course, like always, guys, don't forget, if you guys can, please consider supporting the channel by just simply hitting that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you're subscribed and Make sure that you turn on your notifications by ringing the bell down below. And of course, when you ring the bell, there's also an option to go on ahead and select whether or not you're going to be receiving some notifications or all of them. Ideally, select all of them. That way you don't miss out on any and all the uploads. Now, outside of that, I did want to go on ahead and obviously thank you guys for the support last week on the episode. If we reach 500 likes or more this episode of LEGO DC Super Villains Live, we will once again do another Lego DC Supervillain stream next week, same time, same place. And of course, with that all out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to also mention that if you guys have an urgent comment or question that you would like to have read, please consider using the super chat function. Uh, that is uh, obviously extra support for the channel. And then furthermore, if you'd like to become a member of the channel in order to gain access to the Discord server, priority and sub matches, exclusive badge next to your name, as well as a set of 19 exclusive emotes, please consider using uh, that link right there as well as the link at the top of the description. Without further ado, let's play that intro video and let's get started. <laughs> What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? Mustafa Arlson, V, Ghostanian, Ninja, Bricks, Napier, Luke, Jaden, Leon, Alex, Casimir, Finn, M, Zofo, Guff, uh, Finn, M, already just said Finn, M, uh, Natanori, what's up? Spyro the Husky, thank you for letting people know what kind of emotes they could grab if they join the Blitz Army. Stark, what's up? What's up? What's up? How are you doing? Panda Gaming, Swarm Tracks is back again. Mass High YT, Marlon Viana, how are you doing? Marissa Trujillo, how are you? B79 Kai, how are you doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? Nicholas Greer, CFS. Uh, we've got Joven Fel Felicino or something like that. I probably butchered your last name. Sorry, just chat is scrolling very, very quickly. Uh, David Ravix. Oh, good Google and Moogly. We got our first member of the day. Just like that. Literally just got started. Phoenix05. Uh, Thank you so very much for renewing your membership. Welcome back to the Blitz Army. Enjoy your exclusive 19 emotes. The badge next to your name. Priority and sub matches. And of course, access to the Discord server. Thank you so very much for the support, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoo! And congratulations on your new badge also. Uh, and, and, and then also Revy... Revy Kid, two, by the way, Phoenix, cool avatar. Uh, Revy Kid, 2007. Thank you so very much for the one buckaroo, our first super chatter of the name of the day. Okay, so uh, of the stream, I should have clarified. All right, let's get rock and rolling. We gotta get to the. Oh, I'm not gonna make that jump. I'm not gonna make that jump. Awkward. Very awkward. Super awkward. I need a flying cat. Well, actually, I guess I could just do this. To be fair. Uh, can you make future trunks? Done. Hypernova. That's going to be our first uh, character that we create. Future trunks. And yes, guys, I shaved. Good googly moogly. I'm really going to have to address this, aren't I? Um, okay, so don't forget, guys, um, as we build different characters at the end of the stream, I would really love to hear from you guys about which is your personal favorite uh, of the characters. So whoever, whomever, sorry, we end up building today. At the end of the day, I would love to hear from you guys uh, letting me know, like, hey, we think that this character is the best or that character is the best, etc. So uh, B79 Kai, thank you so very much for the 199, my friend. Hope your day is going well. It is. Thank you for uh, the well wishes. And you shaved. No, I didn't. This is just a disguise. This is nothing but a disguise, I tell you. All right, so our first character of the day is going to be an epic one. Personally, my favorite uh, Dragon Ball Z character, and that is Future Trunks. For those of you that don't know um, who Trunks is, what are you doing, bro? Go figure it out, because he's absolutely epic. Okay. Um, one other thing that I should adjust, actually, real quick is just to check if we have the growth. We don't. 
Uh, Amadao Diallo, thank you so very much for the two book Aru super chat, my friend. Jason Todd Robin. Okay, so that'll be our second creation. Jason Todd Robin. Uh, and that was from Amadao. Amadao Diallo. I hope I'm saying that correctly. That's a really fun name to say. Okay, let's get to crafting trunks, shall we? Uh, I don't believe he wears gloves, right? So we're going to go this route. Um, some of the easier elements about trunks are going to be like the haircut and such. Because we just need to go with like a purple hair. Purple hair, don't care, right? Or something like that. Isn't that what people say? Or does anybody even say that anymore? Oh. Okay, we need to figure out actually which haircut works best. Hey, first of all, Swarm Tracks. Holy moly, bro. Thank you so very much for coming through with the biggest super chat of the day, my friend. Thank you for the uh, $4.99. I'm sorry, of the stream for the $4.99. My chat is broken. I watched your stream this morning, but couldn't comment. <sighs> Dude, trust me. There's nobody more upset about that stuff than me. Like, I, I'm... If you could see the, some of the replies that I've gotten, it's so frustrating. Like, I'm like, li how's that? So, like, literally, one of the replies um, that I got was just basically like, hey, just tell your viewers to contact us about technical issues. I'm like, that doesn't solve anything. I need to give them an actual solution, you know? Uh, so trust me, I'm trying to take care of it. I'm trying to figure it out. And as soon as I have some sort of an update for you, I promise you, uh, that I will let you know. But regardless, thank you so very much for the generous super chat. Thank you for the support. And uh, thank you for tuning in as well. All right, I'm trying to figure out which hairstyle kind of works best for Trunks. I kind of think maybe this one, right? Because he had, he had that bowl cut sort of thing going on. So I think that ought to work, right? So let's see. Uh, for the face, we're going to go with just a regular um, head sculpt. This is one of those rare times where I'm actually going a little bit backwards with the design. And I also probably should change the hairstyle. It's not supposed to be quite that dark. Uh, Phoenix05, dude! Thank you so very much for the 14 Z. Hey, dude, another person from uh, wherever ZAR is. I forget what currency that is, but that's just like Antonio Ladario. Thank you so very much for the support. This is easy, but can you make Deadpool? Sure. Deadpool requested by Phoenix05. And Phoenix, thank you for also uh, renewing your membership. That's kind of the wrong color, though, huh? Okay, this stinks. Because the problem is, I wish there was... Th this hair looks way too pink. Right? And I guess we could select that and see what it looks like once we're done. Or at least further done. Uh, Amadeo Diallo! I'm a Tao. I haven't even got to your first request. This guy's already like, hey, by the way, I also create Jay Garrick. Okay, Jay Garrick. Got it. Um, okay, let's try this hairstyle and then we'll see. Uh, it might be wrong. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. Okay, we need the... Um, the jacket is just going to be purple. So... Aha. Straight up, straight up purple. I just don't want the jacket to match the same color as the hair. So that's the idea behind switching the hair to be a little bit lighter. We'll see if it works. I'm sure that there's a chance that it won't work. But you know what? We might as well give it a try. Um, okay. So for the legs, it's going to be relatively simple. Because we basically just go mostly black and then um, yellow boots. For those of you that are just tuning in, we're currently working on Future Trunks. That is the current build that we are trying to put together. All right. He did have a yellow belt. So I'm going to try to incorporate that to the best of our ability into the design. We could go with an orange belt. I guess that's an option here. Not necessarily a bad one either. Let's see. The most difficult aspect of this guy's for sure going to be to try to figure out the jacket. I'm almost thinking, do we go darker on the legs? I think they were kind of like grayish though, so I think that that works. Man, oh man. <sighs> this is always the most difficult aspect because you need a jacket, basically. Which, I can't... 
I was gonna say I can't think of anybody, but then boom shakalaka, Red Hood just pops up just like that and goes like, hey, yeah, cool story, bro. Check this out. There's a proper solution for future trunks. Okay, that, ladies and gentlemen, is our take on the greatest Saiyan of all time. I know people are gonna say that's not true because it isn't, but hey, it's my favorite character in Dragon Ball Z. Future Trunks has been completed, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're gonna go on ahead and save, and we move along to our first request, which will be uh, from Amadou Diallo. We are building Robin, but not just any Robin. Please don't look and please don't laugh at this. Seriously, his hair. Are you? A, his hair is blue. What? Okay. Maybe I'm colorblind, but dude, what are you talking about? His hair is blue. Dude, his hair is definitely not blue. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. His hair is pink, like purple, purple pink. You just threw me off. I was like, literally, I'm like, Re really? Okay, let's get to designing Jason Todd. Whoops. I wonder if it'll let me actually write out Robin. It probably won't, but let's see. Ah, one letter short. Dang it. <laughs> One letter short. That would have been nice. Okay, it's fine. Uh, what do we give him in terms of weapon? I'm trying to think. Uh, Blitz, imagine a Marvel Battlefront game. That would be fun. That would be really, really cool stealth player. Make Dark Law. Huh? Uh, where's Blitz? Who's this? Looks good, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. So, Jason Todd R R R Robin. Um, I'm a Dow Diallo. Are you talking about like classic, like uh, with the under ruse design, or um, the one with the um, tights sort of look? Let me know. Hey, we got another super chat. This one comes to us from uh, Ed Eggy Gaming. Thank you so very much for the tuba caroos. Thank you for the support, my friend. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so I guess for now I'll start working on the things that we can uh, control in this design, like for example the green gloves, which oddly enough kind of remain the same. Not exactly, but. Because we're going to go with a bit of a different shade of green. I'm, I'm thinking of it's... I don't think that will look all that good. I think this will look good, though. Okay. So now we ideally want something that will be a green shoulder pad. Hmm. Do, 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 boom, 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 boom. I could sort of go this route, maybe. Let's see if this will look good. Sort of exposed arm design that way. Got to give him a cape, for sure. And we're going to go with probably just a classic sort of looking cape, like something like this. And it's got to be a yellow cape. But what we're going to do is we're going to go darker yellow on the inside, brighter yellow on the outside. That way you kind of create a shading effect. And I think that will turn out most likely well. Of course, if it turns out badly, we'll adjust it. Um, thank you so very much for another super chat swarm tracks the 199 thank you my friend uh love from colorado awesome dude i've always wanted to visit colorado just because of the mountains and everything there it looks like it's one of those like really low-key super duper underrated places to uh visit so hopefully at some point i'll get to check out uh colorado that's definitely one of those uh on my bucket list kind of places Okay, so let me take a look real quick at a few different designs here. Because I wonder what... Do they have an actual Robin piece? I don't think they do. Okay. Hey, thank you so very much for another super chat. Uh, Electric Skits. Thank you so very much for the two Buckaroo super chat, my friend. Can you make Wayne or Garth? 
from Wayne's World. Sure. Uh, I'll make Wayne. I don't know what that is or who's Wayne or Garth, but we'll try it. We'll go on ahead and try it. Okay, so the one thing I want to test out real quick. So I know that I'm going to go red, yellow on the belt, but I want to see, do they have the Robin logo here? I don't think they do, but if they did, yes, they do. Sweet, dude. Holy, we can actually do such a good job now with this. Okay, that is actually awesome. Seriously. Uh, Antonio Ladaria, thank you so very much for the 35 ZAR. Thank you so very much for the generous super chat. I don't know if that's the biggest super chat of the day, but it sure sounds like it could be. So thank you so very much for that. Hey, Blitz, hope uh, you're doing good. Thank you. I am doing well. Uh, can't wait for Injustice stream tomorrow. That is correct. Hopefully the matchmaking will work. Uh, will work in, in it, though. And how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Antonio. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying healthy. And so are your family and all your loved ones. And then um, as far as uh, excitement for um, uh, Injustice, same here. Especially because I got a lot of leveling up done. So, like, all my characters are going to have some epic, epic gear. Okay, so not a bad start so far. We've got a pretty accurate uh, look rocking and rolling here. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with, thinking either this haircut right there kind of works. I don't know. There's a couple of different looks we could go for. I almost think that this works a little bit better for Jason Todd. And then for the faceplate, I guess we could go... Robin is in this game, right? Am I, like, crazy? Maybe he's not even in the game, and I'm just, like, completely misremembering. Um, okay. They have red Robin. So, what do you think about that, guys? What do we think about that for our take on Jason Todd Robin? Because I think that's a pretty sweet take right there. All right. From there... Uh, we have a request from Phoenix05 who had requested uh, Deadpool. Also, I just remembered something. I did miss a huge, huge crucial uh, component with trunks, and that is the sheath for the sword. Um, oh, oh, dang it. They don't have... Hmm. Maybe I could emulate it using this. I mean, it's not as accurate, but it sort of would at least resemble the sheath that he has, right? The trunks carries. I think that could look pretty cool. I mean, I know that there is other sheaths here, and there is the one... Like, I guess in theory I could use this one, but this one's like the double one, so... I don't particularly like the way that that looks. I just think it, it aesthetically doesn't look great. So I think we'll go with this one, just because it looks a little bit more accurate. I think that will be a nice added detail to make this character come together a little bit better. Okay. Uh, now... Deadpool. Okay. This should be easy. Because, again, I mean, Deadpool is one of those characters that I generally tend to have a pretty easy time building. Because we've already built him so many different times. I think we're going to go with the double pistols maybe this time for his uh, weapons. we got another super chatter. This time it's Eggy Gaming again. Thank you so very much for the Tuba Karoo super chat. Uh, love you, Blitz. Please make a FIFA 20 stream. We just streamed FIFA 20 um, on Monday, didn't we? Was it Monday? I think it was Monday. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, Eggy Gaming, as soon as that stream reaches 500 likes, then I'm going to get another stream uh, lined up. So, hopefully that answers your question. Okay. So, Deadpool time. We're going to go dual-wielding pistols on this one. Uh, Got to change his name. What do we put Deadpool down as? Because he ain't a hero, and he ain't a villain. He's just Deadpool. He's the Merc with the mouth. So I think we're going to put him down on neutral because he just kind of uh, does whatever best benefits Deadpool. Put it that way. Okay, so for the face, I think I'm going to go with this one. I guess we have to decide if we're going dark red or bright red. I think bright red will probably look a little bit cooler. Although dark red, like if you're going for movie Deadpool, I probably would honestly choose the dark red because I think that would look uh, better and more accurate. So that's a bit of a personal preference um, element there. Okay. So let's remove this. 
Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I wish that I could do just like in Lego games, like IRL, I could just go like this and be like, ta-da, my beard is back. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not that easy. Uh, Corbin uh, Bueller says, Tom Cruise. We'll see, guys. I have a few more uh, that I need to complete first. Sharon Campbell says, who agrees that he should do YouTubers? Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll build some YouTubers. I mean, usually the characters that are humans are going to be very, very easy to build. So uh, keep that in mind. Like any, any character that's, human quote unquote like of course i understand that you could say well deadpool's a human yeah but he's wearing a superhero costume you know what i mean so it's it's a bit different if that makes sense i hope I, i'm making some sense okay so i think you know what let's try to do movie deadpool i know that that's not what necessarily maybe you okay you know what that's not what you asked for so i'm going to stick to what you asked for which is um deadpool you didn't say movie deadpool so i think i'm going to stick to uh, the actual request made instead of just making an assumption. Now, this torso actually works perfectly for Deadpool. So we're going to go with it. Um, then for the shoulder pads, we're going to do a bit of a switcheroo here. So you're going to do black shoulder tops. And then the rest of the arm is going to be red. Just like that. Uh, you can keep the gloves either black or red. That's a personal preference thing. Um... I think it's more accurate to go with the black because the insides of his gloves are always black, but then the outsides are usually red. Um, I think the I, I like kind of the color combination here of black, red, black. I think that that works really well and looks cool. So I think that's what we're going to go for uh, personally. Now, we will go on ahead and repaint the hips. Hmm, I'm trying to think, should we go maybe on the hips actually red? Yeah, I think that'll look better once we actually get the overall look completed. And then for the legs... I'm trying to remember, does he have black boots? Because he might have black boots, and if he has black boots, then we obviously need to make a tad bit of an adjustment. He does not. He has a little bit of black on the sides, but it's really not that big of a deal. So he can go full-on red on that particular... Uh, costume and then uh, just a few little elements that you can add to obviously make the character a little bit more uh, complete and a little bit more cohesive obviously got to give him the uh, sheaths for his swords even though he's not carrying any swords for this particular design uh, but overall there you go ladies and gentlemen that's Deadpool very very easy very 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 simple not a particularly big challenge there. Maybe we'll build movie Deadpool at some point. I'm sure that one will require a little bit more details, but I am uh, up for the challenge. Okay, next up, we have uh, Amadou Diala uh, asking for another request, which is actually Jay Garrick. Okay. Uh, first, though, I have two super chats to read. Uh, Coopster, great name. I like your avatar, Red Dead Redemption. Nice. Uh, hey, is it okay if you make yourself? I love you. Uh, Coopster, thank you for the kind words. Sure. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I'll try to make, create myself. Coopster. Uh, let's ring her. Thank you. Okay. Um, let me get started here on the J... Garrick design. So this one, obviously, we need to give him speedster ability. That's the number one thing that we need to go on ahead and make sure that we get correctly. So we're going to go up here, go to personality, go to speed, give him super fast speed. Uh, the other thing I'm going to check real quick is in abilities. Make sure I don't have the grow ability for him. Uh, Swarm tracks. Holy, dude. Thank you so very much. The biggest super chat of the stream so far, the 999. Thank you for the support. I had the same glitch in Minecraft Dungeons in level two. So the second... Uh, time I did it. I didn't collect anything because when I completed it the first time, I collected everything. Oh, okay, so it's still saved. You didn't have to go back and recollect everything, right, Swarm Tracks? Hopefully that's what you're saying because that would be good news for us, obviously. Uh, and then Phoenix05, thank you so very much for the 14 ZAR. Says, my currency is South African Rand. Dude, that's crazy. So you guys are watching from South Africa. How cool is that? What time is it over there? I wonder what kind of time difference we have with South Africa. Uh, that is very, very, very cool. Thank you so much for, uh, tuning in and making the time, uh, to check out the stream. Okay, so we're gonna remove that. Okay, so we have the speedster abilities. We have everything pretty much set up. 
and now we're ready to get to work. Uh, Gabe Zollinger, or maybe Zollinger, I don't know how to pronounce the last name correctly, so apologies. Uh, are you ever going to replay Portal and Portal 2? Portal, I don't know about, but Portal 2, I think we might actually do that as a streaming series, me and Gamer. So uh, definitely uh, hold out for that, and hopefully you can check it out whenever we hopefully, inevitably, uh, get that done. Okay, so let's get to building, shall we? Uh, time to build Jay Garrick. <laughs> So, we're going to do the obviously gloveless look uh, for him. We're going to go with red. I'm trying to think. Dark red or bright red? Let's go bright red. I think it'll look cooler. Um, now, we need a way... We need a way to have a giant lightning bolt on the chest, which makes me think of Shazam right away as, as like a good option here. Um, prob probably... I mean, that's not very... I mean, you could maybe go with this, but I feel like uh, we can do better. Okay, let's see what the Shazam torso looks like. I'm curious. I also I also think this could look good, actually, because he does kind of always, like, wear that kind of, like, coat thing, you know? So it's kind of difficult to, like, pick just one. And let's try the Shazam torso... Although the Shazam torso has all that gold all over it, which is not very accurate. Dang it. Ooh, what if we... What if we just chose, like, a regular torso, plain red, and black for the lines, and then we chose a lightning bolt here? Do they not have a lightning bolt? Wait, are you... S oh, okay, well, they have this. Dang it. Because... I guess the question I should have asked uh, of um, uh, Amadou Diallo is which version did you want to see? Because if you wanted to see the version from the show, um, then this works. But if you wanted to see the one that's like the comic book Garrick... Because comic book Garrick would be um, somewhat like what you're seeing here. Then you would go for the legs. You'd go bright blue uh, for the top part. Red boots there. Uh, probably would adjust the um, hips to match the blue. Sort of like that. Um, I don't know. This is the thing that's really going to make or break this design is the hat that he wears. Because that's a key element of uh, Garrick is the hat helmet thing that he wears <sighs> which unfortunately there's nothing in the game that's exactly like that so what's the closest okay I mean that might have to be the way that we go and go this way, change the facial hair to be, whoops, to be blonde. And... Man, that hat does not look great. Any suggestions on Jay Garrick, guys? Any ideas? Do you have Snapchat Blitz? I do not. Super Funko Pop Time S... FPT. I do not have a Snapchat. It's tough because he's supposed to have those like little ears on the sides. Almost like Captain America sort of style. But they don't have it, man. What is he making? We're making Jay Garrick. You have to have Jay Garrick with the helmet. Because I feel like if you if you go with just an unhelmeted look, it's going to look way too generic. Like I said, like... I also think that I probably have to just go with... The lightning bolt ideally should be, like, from the lower half. But there's nothing like that. So I think that Shazam Torso is probably the way to go here. So maybe something like this... With the speedster ability, it could possibly work. 
You mean lightning bolts? Yeah, yeah. So Jay Garrick usually ha he has like a giant lightning bolt that like starts from like the lower part of his torso all the way up. There isn't anything like that. It's just one giant lightning bolt instead of several. You know? So I think that's what we're going to go for. Because I, I got to have the helmet somehow. Because to me, that's Jay Garrick. Like you have to have that helmet. That's what makes that character that character. Like uniquely that character. Um, okay, next up, we have a request for Wayne's World. That one I'm definitely going to need to look up because I don't know who that is. Uh, <clears throat> also, Antonio Ladaria, thank you so very much for the 14 ZAR. Apologies on the uh, late reading of the Super Chat. It's 12 at night here in South Africa. Well, thank you for watching. I guess it's about six hour time difference, which I guess is not quite as much as I thought. Um, I guess that makes sense. Uh, just in the context with like other time zones with Europe and such. Um, but thank you so very much for the 14 ZAR, my friend. Okay, uh, so I need to look up Wayne's World or Wayne from Wayne's World. This one is requested by Electric Skills. So let's see. Wayne from Wayne's World. Oh, I've heard of this before. Um, this is the guy that uh, was Austin Powers, right? Uh, what's his name? Mike, uh, Mike Myers. Okay. Okay. Challenge accepted. Wayne from Wayne's World. Okay. So, um, I'm assuming he's a, a hero would be a good qualification for him. Um, now, he does seem to be a musician. So, I wonder if... Is there a guitar in here or did they... I don't think they have... Oh, there is a guitar. Perfect. So, we can give him a guitar. Oh, what kind of a guitar does he have? A white guitar. Okay. Uh, that'll work. Oh, uh, that'll do. Okay. So, arms, plain... Oh, sorry, nope. We're gonna go for a t-shirt look. Uh, thank you for the super chat. I'll be reading that in just one moment. Uh, thank you so very much. B79Kai, thank you so very much for the 199 Super Chat. Could you do Brainwave? Sure. I don't know who Brainwave is, but I love how I'm like, challenge accepted. I don't know who Brainwave is, but we're going to Google that and figure it out. Okay. So this is actually a really pretty straightforward character. There's really not much to him because it's just plain black t-shirt, some bright blue jeans. Um, sort of like that design I think works well um, and then match the hip piece to that now for the face does he have he does not okay I just want to make sure that uh, whether or not he has any facial hair which he does not so that keeps things relatively simple on our end recolor that then, uh, whoops, what we need to do is turn this mm. effect off. And then it looks like he's wearing a baseball cap. But he also does have long hair, so I don't know if there is... Hmm. That's where the, it, this challenge is a little bit challenging. Because I don't know that there is anything in the game uh, that fits both. Uh, Hamza Beast, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Blitz Army. You get the salute. You get the Blitz Army hype from the Blitz Army. So let's get that Blitz Army hype going for Hamza Beast. Thank you so very much for becoming a member of the channel. Enjoy your 19 exclusive emotes. Enjoy priority in sub matches. Enjoy access to the Discord server. And of course, enjoy the badge next to your name. Thank you so very much for supporting the channel. It is very much appreciated. And then Jason Au... 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 Aujla? Aujla, maybe? Probably messed that up. At least I got your first name correctly, Jason. Um, thank you so very much for the two Buckaroo Super Chat. Much, much appreciated. Okay, so I need to figure out... We can either go with a hat, like this. Or, actually, maybe there's a hairstyle that has a hat. Um... There is one, but it's kind of the wrong hat. <laughs> I mean, would you be happy with this? Um, electric skills. 
Uh, how about this <laughs> for for your character request? Okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, gotta go with a regular hat. So, what is that? Something just glitched into the side there. That's really strange. Okay. So there you go, dude. That's going to be our take on Wayne from Wayne's World. Hopefully uh, you are a fan of that uh, particular design. Uh, actually, one thing that I should do real quick is also check. Because I had a bunch of characters on the last one where they had the uh, grow ability. So I just need to check which ones have that ability so that I go on ahead and uh, turn those off. Uh, are you making Wayne from Let's Make a Deal? I don't know. Maybe he was in Let's Make a Deal as well. Uh, the request was actually Wayne from Wayne's World. That was um, the request. So I don't know. Maybe he was in uh, Let's Make a Deal also. So there you go. Uh, all right. Next request is from Coopster. And he requested to create me. So I'm going to assume that I've got the facial hair because usually I would. Um, so let's see. As far as weapons... Do they have a game controller? They don't. If they did, I would have definitely gone with that. Uh, plunger? No. Wait, what? You can double color this thing? Oh, no. A plunger. Ready to take on all the world's worst video games. Um, okay. Let me see. I guess we're going with no weapons. No weapons. Okay. So, go with that. Mm, I'm going to try to do a design of kind of sort of what I'm wearing. Somewhat. So, hoodie. Which means I need this thing. Then... Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I hope there is something that will be Blitzbot esque. I don't think there is anything. Okay. If you guys know me, you know that I'm a huge fan of Batman, so I gotta go with the bat symbol. Or actually, I guess probably the classic bats bat symbol would be the best. There we are. Um, pants, pretty much fine. I mean, I guess I could go with jeans instead. Or actually, here I'll do. I'll do this. I'll go jeans and uh, let's go black sneakers. And then I just need to adjust the hip piece. Uh, that color. Okay, not bad, not bad. And uh, a hat. That's uh, the remaining component. We're going to go with a black hat. And obviously got to adjust the beard. We've got to bring in the beard. I said everybody bring in the beard. Uh, okay, so there's a problem here. I don't know if they have a beard like the one that I... I mean, I guess sort of like that, but that makes me look like I'm five billion years old. Um, brown. If we remove all this. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. And. Uh, let's go on ahead and. This just feels weird to be building yourself. It just feels a little bit selfish. That's all. All right. Uh, let's get through some of these uh, super chats. Apologies on the late reading. Cameron uh, C. Jackson. Thank you so very much for the 199 super chat, my friend. Make Drake. Like the rapper? Done, dude. That'll be easy. Easy game. Easy life. We could do Drake memes of him doing the... That? Uh, that was horrible. Uh, BVG Swoosh, thank you so very much for the two buckaroo super chat blitz. Can you do light speed from the flash? I could try. Um, light speed. Uh, 
flash, and that's from BVG Swoosh. Also, guys, if you're just tuning in, please consider leaving a like on the video. That would be really, really, really tremendous amount of help. So if you can, please consider leaving a like. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you guys so very much for the support. Okay, uh, so next up, we have Brainwave. I don't know who Brainwave is, so let me look up Brainwave. Brainwave. It literally just gives me pictures of brainwave scans. Uh, let's see. DC Comics? Huh. Okay, so the person who had requested brainwave is uh, B79Kai. Are you talking about... Okay, I guess I might as well bring up the pictures because then it'll be easier for you to let me know. Uh, which of these two characters are you speaking to? Uh, because they look incredibly different. So, let me get the two for you. Okay, so number one is this dude. Are you talking about this guy, B79Kai? Or are you talking about this guy? Because, uh, obviously, very different characters. So if you can, let me know. Please let me know. And in the meantime, I guess what I could do is... I'm just going to get to building Drake first, I guess. And then we'll get rocking rolling. Okay, Drake. Is there any requests as far as, like, for Drake? How the heck are we going to do this? Like, just t-shirt or what? I guess that's part of the uh, difficulties of uh, choosing. Uh, Landon Baker says 468 likes. Thank you, guys. Almost at 500 likes. If we reach 500 likes today, we're going to do another one of these streams uh, next weekend. What do we put Drake as a hero uh, or a villain? Chat, what do you think? All of you who are... Who did he have beef with again? Somebody, some rappers? Me, M Migos or something? No? From the... Wait, what? Why did it not let me put a number there? Drake. From. The. Whoops. Six. There you go. Okay. He's a hero? A hero? Oh, he's a neutral. <laughs> I like a spaghetti man. He's like, villain. Definitely villain. Okay, we'll keep him neutral then. We'll keep Drake neutral. How about that? How, how about that? All right. Um, he has a beard, right? So that means we could probably use the exact same style here. Okay. Um, we got to figure out skin tone. I don't know about this. Maybe like that kind of skin tone? I have no idea if I'm correct about this. This is always like a dicey area because people are like, Whoa, bro! And it's like, I'm trying to do my best. Trust me, I am trying to do my best and be as accurate as possible. Is that the same beard that we use for my character? Because it looks a little bit different. Oh, this, this one's better. There we go. This beard. Okay, that's not correct. Uh, B79 Kai, think of the one nine nine the first one. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that was surprising. Okay. Uh, so the guy in green. The guy in green. Got it. All right. Comic book Sandman. Uh, Ashwin, uh, uh, Ar, Ara, Ara Vin Vincent. Um, hopefully we can get to that, um, in just a moment here. Someone donated? Yeah, I just read it. Okay, uh, so we can go either uh, bald, short hair. If we go for like that really short hair sort of look. Maybe this? Does that fit? Kind of, right? So you could maybe go that way. Tom Brady. We'll see. Just a sec. Let me just... Try to first finish the designs that have been already requested. 
and then we'll go from there. Um, okay, so in most of these pictures here, uh, for the concert sort of stuff, it looks like he's wearing just a plain black t-shirt, so... Again, I guess this is one of those things that you can just adjust accordingly to what your design is that you're going for. We could go with, like, white shoes, maybe. Just to break up the color a little bit, just so it's not boring. Belt. Um, and then just a plain black shirt. And... Actually, how could I... How could I possibly forget? Miscellaneous weapons. Uh, do they not have a microphone? Dude, I legitimately thought they had a microphone. Um, what will look most like a... Yeah. I don't know why. I could have sworn they had a microphone in this game. Maybe this would kind of look like a mic. It's like a really uh, futuristic mic. We'll go with that. Super futuristic mic. And uh, what we need to do is remove the hoodie. There you go. There's Drake for you. From the six. Representing fellow Tarantonian. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, we circle back to a design that was requested by B79, uh, and this is Brainwave. So let's see. Oh my gosh, this next one you're seeing right now is going to be crazy. Uh, BVG Swoosh, thank you for so very much for the two buckaroos. Uh, I meant Godspeed, not Lightspeed. Okay. Godspeed. Outlaw Red Hood. AP Gaming. Uh, that actually sounds like a pretty cool idea. Just a sec. Let me just finish this. Keep posting it, though, because I, I do think we could build that. Okay. Uh, so, the first requested character was Brainwave. Okay. So, this will be easy, hopefully. Um, okay. So, the first thing we need to do is remove the pickaxe. Just like so. The second thing we need to do is change... Is he a villain? He he looks like he'd be a villain, sort of. Brain. Wave. So this is a DC Comics villain, apparently. I think he's a villain. Um. Okay, abilities. No ability to grow there. Good. Okay, so let's get to building. Actually, let's start with the easy stuff because most of this is going to be pretty straightforward. Um, okay, he does have brown boots, so I'm going to try to... That's not what we needed to do. I'm like, he does have brown boots. Take off his pants. It's like, what are you doing, dude? Uh, light green or dark green? Sort of dark green. Yeah. Well, actually, I guess it depends on... Okay, let's go with that. So it's not super light, but then not super dark either. Got to give him some brown boots. Because, of course, he has brown boots. This is going to look like one of the most, like, generic-looking designs that we've built. But, hey, that's what you guys requested. So challenge accepted, and we're building the design. Okay, for the torso, I'm already thinking I know what we should use. Uh, thank you for the super chat. I'll read that in just one second. Uh, where's the League of Shadows, I think? Because they have that kind of robe. Is it under League of Shadows? Like under L? Yes, it is. Perfect. There's your green robe design. Uh, Lightning Strike Place. Thank you so very much for the 10 buckaroo super chat. Biggest super chat of the stream, my friend. Thank you for the support. Hey, Max, can you make Spidey next? Sure. Well, actually, not next. I'll make him afterwards but uh because i have uh godspeed to make next and then i also do want to try to make that red hood outlaw version because that actually sounds really fun like that could be really really cool design uh thank you for another super chat i'll read that in just one second okay so we need to try to figure out how to make his head look bigger Uh, 
I mean, that could be a really cool design for that character, to be honest. Okay, let me actually change the face first, because I know that'll help. So he has giant, like, glasses, sort of, right? <laughs> so... I'm going to go with a plain face. Should not be able to see his eyebrows. And then we need giant glasses. Ideally, they should be a little bit more like this sort of thing. Man, oh man. Oh, perfect. I think these work better. Okay. So now we have to figure out how to make the head bigger. This looks really terrifying, actually. Like, I think that that actually could work because it just looks like a scary design, you know, where it's like he's so smart that, like, his brain is growing out of his head. Like, that sounds like a horror movie. Why is there an apple on the screen, bro? What just happened, man? Okay. Uh, Cameron C. Jackson, thank you so very much for the 199 Super Chat Make Rick from Rick and Morty. Dude, I'm gonna run out of characters. And Morty. Okay. Um, if not that, what else could we use to, like, make his head seem bigger? Could use this. Kind of works. I mean, it looks <laughs> very strange, but sort of works. I mean, I guess we could go with this as well. That's an option here. I mean, that's probably the most accurate look, but for me personally, I think that this looks way, way cooler. Like, I just think that that actually looks really, really, really epic. A little terrifying, but also epic. You know what I mean? So I would go this way if I was building Brainwave. Uh, but for accuracy's sake, I think we'll just go with this. There you go. Okay, so that's my take on Brainwave. Next up, we have a request uh, from BVG Swoosh, and it is God uh, Speed from the Flash TV show. Is he a villain or a hero? Chat, let me know. Is God Speed a villain or a hero? If you've watched um, the Flash TV show, I don't think he's ever been in the comics, has he? Oh, dude, they have pictures of him in the comics. When the heck has he been in the comics? And why have I not read that? Holy, this dude looks epic. Wait, have I not made him before? I feel like we've designed this character before. I mean, he looks pretty epic. Regardless, I don't mind creating him again. Because I think we could do a better job. Uh, he's a villain. Okay. Yeah, this, this character looks crazy cool. If you've never seen Godspeed, poof, well, you're about to see him, I guess. Then again, maybe you'd never get to see him. Because of how fast he moves. Get it? That was a fast joke. Okay. Gotta give him super fast speed. Um, and it looks like he's almost always surrounded by lightning bolts. Like, that's just his thing. Like, he walks around. He's, like, doing grocery shopping. Boom. Lightning bolts all around. That's just the thing that he seems to be rocking with. So, in order to emulate that to the best of our ability, we're going to actually start by going to the effects part. We're going to give him some effects. And we're going to go with stuff that looks lightning bolt-esque. And go with the brightest kind of orange, yellowish that they have. Um, and once again, you want to choose the lightning bolts. Okay. Um, now to the actual design <laughs> of the character. I think that will work. Okay, so we need to have a little bit of yellow in the costume itself. Ideally on the sh shoulder sort of area. Although he does have... Oh, wait, but you said from the Flash TV show. So what am I doing? I'm, I'm already going for the comic book design. Let me see. Um, Flash. Show. 
Okay, so mostly a white costume. He does still have the lightning bolt. Um, somewhat Flash-esque. Um, maybe like that. Okay, for the arms. Uh, do they not have flash? Or, oh, maybe it's the flash. Maybe it's a little further down. Okay, so they have those ones, but that's kind of the wrong color. We want something that ideally has a little bit of yellow in the design itself, like yellow and gold, sort of. What recall? Ugh. If both parts of the arm on that recolored, we would have chosen this, but since it doesn't, can't really go with that. I mean, that's an option, I guess. It's not great looking, so ideally we don't really want to go with that. Um... I think that's somewhat better. It's a little bit more accurate, at least the color. Like it's actually yellow versus the other one was gold. That's definitely not going to work. That could work. Hmm, no. Okay, so I think that for accuracy's sake, I think either this or booster gold should be the ones that you go for. But since this one has the blue dots, whatever. Let's just go on ahead and um, choose the Batgirl design. Because I think it'll be, once we're done with the design, it'll be more accurate. Okay. Um, leg piece. Just plain white. Or actually, he does have a little bit of yellow in the costume as well. Man, comic book, by the way, comic book Godspeed looks way cooler. Just personal opinion, I know, but... I'm just saying. Looks way, way cooler. Okay. Uh, does he have a belt? He doesn't. Sorry. Actually. Wonder if we went that way, would that look a little bit cleaner? Because I think it, it will, inevitably. Um, okay, helmet. That's going to be probably... Okay, so he has... Oh, wow, that's so weird. Like, his helmet is really strange. It kind of, like, comes forward. Huh. And then the eyes are supposed to be like gray, sort of. That's going to be tough. How can we do that? Ooh. Actually, maybe it won't be that tough. If I pick this, repaint that white, get rid of the lines, then put on glasses that turn the eyes gray. Or gray. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Not bad. Nope. Dang it. That... <sighs> okay, there's really only one look that we can go for. It's not gonna be gray, it's gonna be sort of grayish black, but I think it'll be good overall. Uh, BVG Swoosh, thank you so very much for the two buckaroo super chat. You can do comic book Godspeed. Well, we can't switch now. We're halfway done, man. I gotta stick with it at this point. So, possibly that. Let me see. I almost wonder if this one would look cooler. No, because then you ruin the goggles look. Yeah. 
Can't go with that. Yeah, there's really only one option. Because that's how you get the longer ears. So, kind of have to go with this, really. Maybe in the future, though, we'll do more comic book inspired look. And I think we could knock that out of the park. But I would say pretty good take. No? What do you think? If you've watched the uh, Flash TV show and you've seen uh, Godspeed, spoiler alert, I guess if you haven't, there's a character called Godspeed. He looks really, really epic. He's a villain. He seems to be quite powerful. Uh, there's our take on that character. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down in the chat if you guys think that it looks good or bad. I'm looking forward to hear from you guys. Okay, next up, we have a request for Spidey. So, Spider-Man. Okay. So. Uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Does whatever Spider can. Swings a web. Lightning strike. Thank you so very much. Lightning Strike plays. Joins the Blitz Army, my friend. Enjoy your exclusive access to the Discord server. Enjoy priority and sub matches. Enjoy the badge next to your name. Of course, 19 exclusive emotes available to you as well. Thank you for joining the Blitz Army. Thank you so very much for your support, my friend. And uh, thank you for being our second member of the day, I believe. So uh, very, very much appreciated. Okay, Spider-Man. So the first thing I need to do is go to here oh man did they take out i think they might have taken out the option of web swinging didn't they i don't think they have it in this game i guess you could kind of do sort of like webbing using maybe this I think that looks most like webs. I wish the sound effect could be different because that does not sound. It sounds like a laser blast for sure. Okay. Let's get to work on Spider-Man. Uh, he is a rack. What does that mean? There's not a web... Yeah, I figured as much. Because I was trying to remember. I'm like, I'm pretty sure they took it out with this game. Because there isn't, isn't any DC character that would use it. So, unfortunately, there's no way for us to, like, replicate that ability. So, that kind of stinks. <laughs> okay. Regardless, though, let's stay focused. Let's do our best to get a cool design uh, in spite of the limitations that we have to face in the game. Um, so, we're going to go with classic Spidey. Hopefully, you'll be okay with that. After all, that is everyone's sort of favorite Spider-Man. Okay, so this is immediately where things get tricky because... I can do part of the design, but not the red part of the costume. And we can even give him like sort of a spider-looking logo. With something like this, for example. And I just don't think that that looks great. Ah, oh, dang it. What torso could work for Spider-Man? Because for the face, I already know what I have to use. There really is only one option, unfortunately. There's there's no other uh, way to go about this. It's, it's literally just going to be this. Because outside of that, there's nothing else you can use. Uh, that's that's going to be at least remotely accurate. So it would be sort of like this, but man, oh man. I'm trying to think of preset torsos that could maybe work for Spider-Man better than what we have. Because what we want to ideally do is obviously that kind of like um, blue design, but then the center is red. I thought of right away maybe Beast Boy Torso, but the problem with that is that it's not going to be red and blue. Um, so, for example, the Beast Boy Torso could work, but it's the wrong color, right? And that's not going to work. Like, you could go this route, but... It's definitely incorrect. Any ideas, uh, chat? 
Miles Morales. Miles Morales Spider-Man would be probably easier to do. Although thinking okay so let's say if we were to build miles right J let's just uh who who had requested spider-man let me quickly ask first um uh, lightning strike plays uh would you be okay if we designed miles morales instead of uh um why am i blanking classic spidey because if we were to build miles i'm just i just am curious to see what we would come up with real quick so we would repaint this black the legs become and the problem is too much red on that make future flash we'll see and then the helmet would be uh, redesigned as well because it would have to be black so it'd be like this which does not look much better ah dang it yeah spider-man is a tough one to design because a lot of the limits that the game has it's just tough I was thinking, could I do a better job of maybe advanced suit? But I don't think so either, because I think the advanced suit would be far more complex uh, of a design. So, I mean, if you want, we could do Scarlet Spider. That'll be easy. Just give him a hoodie. <laughs> Problem solved, right? And uh, give him kind of a blue hoodie right there. So you can kind of do like homemade Spider-Man, you know, if you want. Um, I guess it would be like, uh, mm, thinking of, let's see, uh, torso. So if you want Scarlet Spider, we can definitely design that. Uh, we're going to go belt, uh, light blue. And the belt itself should be kind of grayish. Um, Lightning Strike Plays. Thank you so very much for the two buckaroo super chat. Yep, any is fine. Okay, I can knock this one out of the park. I actually think I could do a really, really good job with this one. Because I think within the limits of the game, I think that this is the one that is the best one to design. Uh, would be this one. So then we're going to use this to create the illusion of the spider logo on the outfit. I almost wonder if this would look better. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I need to adjust a couple of things. First of all, um, arms have to be red, but... Ideally, you know how he has those like little web shooters? I want to try to incorporate that uh, into the design. So I think that'll look a little bit cleaner. And then the legs. So I guess I'll also rename this guy to be Scarlet Spider, not just Spider. Um, okay, there we go. We nailed it, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Scarlet... Spider. I think that's that's the most doable design um, in the game. I think that that's the one that is actually going to look pretty. Okay, you know what? Maybe only one other thing I would change real quick. Um, remove those lines on the face so it even blends in a little bit better like that. And let me just see really quick one more that there isn't a better option for this. I don't think there is, but I just want to be sure. Yeah, I don't think there is any uh, that works better. There we go. I mean, I think that that's a pretty accurate take on Scarlet Spider. Seriously. Like, all things considered, I think that's pretty accurate.
Okay, uh, next request. Our 11th character that we're building is going to be Rick from Rick and Morty. Rick from Rick and Morty. Bum, 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 bum. He's the greatest guy in history. Okay, he has a blaster, doesn't he? He uses like a little laser gun, right? Uh, which one of these looks the most like the laser gun that he uses? I mean, I kind of want to choose something that's super f futuristic looking. So maybe the vaporizer here will work well. Um, okay. Ooh, important question, guys. Rick from Rick and Morty. Villain or hero? Oh, thank you guys for the uh, thumbs up as well. Dylan Gamer's like, where's Blitzbeard? Uh, I had to shave it off because I was... I messed up uh, trimming the beard, so I messed it up. Brightburn custom. Maybe. Papa John. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of think that I'm going to try to craft the uh, red hood after this. Uh, please do Ghost Rider. Just a sec, guys. Let me just finish this one first, and then we'll move along. Uh, can you make Captain America from Endgame? I need to first uh, hear what you guys think he is. Hero or villain? What do you think? I need a suggestion. Make Seth Rollins, King Karo uh, Karoma, bro. You're gonna have to change your name with everything that's going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? That name's a little too close to, uh, you know, what's with everything that's happening, dude. You might want to look into uh, changing that up. Neutral? Okay, I guess we'll go with neutral. All right, let's get to building Rick from Rick and Morty. All right, so let's start with the stuff that's kind of easy. So ideally we want the... Kind of actually like this would work, as long as this changes the color in the trench coat, and it does. Brilliant. So we're going to go for Constantine. We need the Constantine leg piece as well. There we go. So that's going to give us that illusion of the uh, trench coat that he wears. Who just super chatted? Lightning Strike Plays. Thank you so very much for the tuba carouse. Could you make Jay from Ninjago? Sure. Jay Ninjago. Um, done. We'll we'll do that. Okay. Um, now we need just plain white for the arms. That works. The torso is going to be really tough to figure out, right? Because there really isn't a character that has a blue shirt, I don't think, underneath. I mean, I guess maybe that would be... It's not super accurate, unfortunately, but it's somewhat accurate. I'll, I guess I'll say that. Um... Clark Kent... Commissioner Gordon. It's like the Wild West version of Rick. Also, I'm going to need to figure out what the heck we're going to do for his face. And that haircut, bro. How? Okay. I literally just thought about it. I'm like, I have no idea how the heck I'm going to make it look like he's got that hair but we're gonna certainly try um uh, that much i will definitely tell you okay so we obviously need to make him look older and then what we need to do is change the uh hair so it's blue unfortunately there's no way to give him like a unibrow that's not a a feature in this game okay could go with this i guess is it that blue? No, it's this blue. Sort of like that. Okay, let me remove. You might as well have asked me to make pickle wreck, bro. Um. Okay, I'm going to scroll through just to give it a chance. Because maybe there is a character that wears a coat... And a blue t-shirt, and it just happens to work perfectly for this design. I don't recall that there is one, but I'm just going to scroll through just to be sure. 
And I know ideally his legs should be a little bit more of a brown pent design, but I mean, this is going to be relatively close to that. There's one where it's a green shirt underneath. But it's, it's kind of more of a jacket than it is a shirt. Um, let's just scroll through before we make a judgment call. Maybe there is something more accurate. I doubt it. And I think I've already settled on the one that we're going to use. So I know it's going to be a little bit more formal looking than what we're going for or what it needs to be. Um, but at least it has the blue inside the design. So I think that will be our look. What do you guys think on the hair? What should we do for his hairstyle? Maybe this. Is that exactly how he looks? Because I think that's pretty accurate right there. You know what I mean? Oh. Uh, Buttercup, thank you so very much for the Tubacaroo Super Chat. Are you still going to continue Minecraft Dungeons? Uh, yeah, that's the plan. We might just play it on uh, Xbox next time instead. Just so it's easier to set up. I mean, I guess you could go with something oh. like this, but I, I don't know. I think that this really does sort of fit Rick. I guess maybe we should change the eyebrows. Um, just so they match. Okay. There he is. Rick and Morty's own Rick. Ta-da! Uh, Scourge uh, iOS. Thank you so very much for the 99 cents. Super chat, my friend. Thank you for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, next. This is our 12. Did I build 12 characters already? One, two, three, four. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, I guess this will be our last character of the day. I didn't even... Um... The person that was making a suggestion for uh, Red Hood, I'm literally going to write that down. I'm going to do the uh, Red Hood design as the first character we build next week. So don't worry. I did not forget. Um, okay, let's build Jay from the Ninjago series. There's so many different takes on the character. I don't know where to start. What did he use for weapons? I think he had like the nunchucks, didn't he? Okay, wait, but he has... So his little scythes? Is that what he was using? I don't know if they have those in the games. Kind of like the ones that Electra uses. Uh... I don't know if that they have them. Dang it. Maybe under miscellaneous? Nope. Uh, Buttercup, thank you for the two buckaroos. I joined the Discord as Blitz Army Roll. That's awesome, Buttercup. Welcome, welcome to the Discord. Hashtag Discord gang. Uh, okay. I am... Okay, I'm going to need some help here, guys. Uh, what do you think we should do for... J, um, as far as design, because they don't have those little katanas and they don't have nunchucks either. You know, so that makes things a tad bit difficult. All right. I think I'm going to go for this like epic armored one. I don't even know where that's from, but it looks pretty epic. It's the hands of time training, maybe? Would that be okay if I do that design? I mean, there's so many different takes on the character. Okay, if you want... I'll put it this way. If you want the most generic version of this character, I'd probably go this route. Um, I'd go... Like, the one that I can see here from the actual show. I'd go... Brown hair. Sorry. Brown hair. Um, <laughs> there you go. Um, 
So I'm going to show you, I guess, a couple of different variations, ones that seem to be easy. If you want to clarify about, like, which specific version you want, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. So he has black gloves, I guess. I love how somebody keeps firing um, apples. I uh, need to remove the cape. Okay, so plain blue for the legs. Then I remove the cape. I must have misclicked quickly. Okay. So. This is going to be, by the way, again, the most generic version. And then I'm going to build up uh, a much more, like, complex design. Okay? So kind of a ninja sort of costume there. And I guess that would pretty much be it, you know? And then, of course, adjust the weapon accordingly to whichever one you want. Uh, the apples are back. Yes, indeed, they are back. Um, I just got on the stream. What's up, C uh, Horse Gaming? How are you doing? Thank you so very much for tuning in. Uh, so, again, I would change the weapon, obviously. Maybe just go with the katanas. Even though I'm pretty sure that's the weapon that Kai uses. So there you go. And I guess maybe if you want, you could go dual wielding. So something like that. So that could be a take, okay, on the character. Now, outside of that, let's try to do a much more complex design. Something that looks a little bit cooler, if I'm a sister myself. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is actually take a look at... Can I only do one shoulder pad like this? Dang it. If it let me do double shoulder pads, that would... Okay, actually, I guess maybe we could do it this way. So we're going to go this way. Then the rest of the arm is going to be black also. So that's our start. Then for the design, uh, lightning strike plays. Thank you so very much, uh, for, uh, the five book super chat yet again, you can do season five possession through season seven hands of time. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So in this one. All right, I hope I've got the right one. So I'll tell you which one I'm building here. So the one that I'm going to try to replicate to the best of my ability is actually this design. Whoops. Okay, so that's going to be the design that I'm going for. And I'm going to try to do my best to get that design to be accurate. Okay, um, so I'm going to go dark blue. For the legs, sort of like that. And light blue for the highlights, because I think that will look clean. Then we should give him a belt. Hmm. Uh, Robert B, thank you so very much for the 199 Super Chat. Can you please make Avatar, Aang, or Zuku? Um, we could make one or the other, but not today already because we would literally run out of space. <laughs> We've crafted 12 characters, so I'll write it down and I'll make them on the next stream. Which will be next week, same time. Um, uh, trying to see if there's anything that kind of looks... Like, um, belt, like maybe like that, sort of. Okay, uh, then I gotta give him the 
helmet or the ninja hood. Which we're going to go with. I wish I could do two colors on this because I would. And just to make it more accurate. But unfortunately, you can't. Um, and then for the torso, which is probably the most crucial part. It's pretty decent. I mean, that's not bad. I'm trying to design something that looks very armor-esque. That looks pretty cool, too, actually. Mr. Miracle, surprisingly, looks pretty clean. Um, and again, I would choose either the light blue or the dark blue. It depends on which torso piece you're going to use. So let me just scroll through. And then we're going to pick one, obviously. Hmm, I wonder what this would look like, actually. Not great. The red, too much. Takes away a little bit too much from the design. Hmm. That can actually kind of work, too. Especially because it kind of uh, has that ninja feel with the lightning bolt. So, this one's not a bad option, either. And, of course, if you want, you could go with a brighter blue, um, also. So that's definitely an option. I think that that looks really cool, actually. The Mr. Miracle torso piece. Um, ideally, we want to incorporate gold and blue. That's pretty much the main colors that we're going for. That's what we're trying to really... Um, Capture here. That's an interesting look as well. That could work, possibly. Because uh, as... I mean, it's not gold. It's yellow. But it kind of works, right? Like, it, it can certainly be a, an option here. That does not look great at all. Uh, that's all right looking. What repaints on this? Not great. Hmm. If this had two recolors, we could have definitely uh, knocked that out of the park. But for me personally, I think Mr. Miracle looks the best. Because I think that, that uh, it has like a nice balance of looking cool. Actually. Yeah. Uh, looking cool while also being relatively accurate. It's not super accurate, but it's definitely... Uh, like, I, I don't know. It just feels like it works well with the rest of the design that we've implemented here. So, I guess that will be my take right there on Jay. So, there you go. All right. So, time to take a look at all of the characters that we crafted here today. Which means, guys, that you will be able to go on ahead and make your voices heard. Um, actually, one other thing that I would add. I mean, he shouldn't be able to fly, first of all. But one other thing that I would add. He uses electricity, doesn't he? I'm I'm like 99% sure that he's the one that uses Or is he the one that uses wind? I think he's electricity. So I would add the um electric effect like that because i think that would be really 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 cool just as a nice little addition um to the character okay so with that in mind let's go on ahead and take a look at all of the designs that we came up with here today you guys can go on ahead and vote on what we went ahead and built let me know in the actual chat or in the comment section below if you're watching this after it's already uh, no longer live i still would love to hear your opinions and thoughts on what you think we did the best or which character you think we did the best on today so i guess let's start with the latest one this is jay from ninjago we went for i guess season seven was the look like hands of time or something like that uh so this is our design for jay looking pretty epic with the lightning swords and all that turned out pretty sweet uh from there we went into the build for rick from rick and morty who I wish should have been teleporting from a green portal. Because that would have been a little bit more appropriate. But there's Rick! 
right there. So you can go on ahead and possibly vote for Rick. I guess stick around to see all of them before you make a judgment call. Uh, then we built Scarlet Spider, which honestly, I think one of my favorite designs from today, because I really do think that we kind of uh, managed to capture most of the elements that you would need to see from Scarlet Spider. Um, I think we definitely captured. So there's Scarlet Spider-Man right there. Looking pretty cool. Uh, then we went ahead and built Godspeed, who is ridiculously cool looking. I mean, look at this character. Just absolutely epic looking. Cannot wait to do like a much more complex design for this guy uh, using maybe based on the uh, comic book. That would be kind of cool too. Maybe we'll do that on the next uh, week's customs. But overall, really, really cool character. Obviously gave him the speedster ability and he turned out really sweet. Uh, then we went ahead and crafted... Who did we craft after? Oh, Drake. Of course. Of course. It was Drake. It was Drake all along. And yes, that is a microphone in his hand. That is not a mixer for cooking. So there's Drake from the 6 hanging out in LEGO DC ready to drop some beats and sing something i was trying to make a reference to a drake song but i don't know any off the top of my head so i'm just gonna move along uh next up brainwave this was a pretty ridiculous character that many of you guys made a request for so this is brainwave uh very much unknown i don't know anything about brainwave but overall i think we captured the little elements that we needed to then we went ahead and built me. So this feels a little bit obnoxious to discuss. Now, I know what you're saying, Blitz. Where's the beard? I know. I had to shave. So no beard. But generally speaking, there I am. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to have to go to the customizer in order to switch characters real quick. Um, and then we had Wayne from Wayne's World. Who, I've never seen this movie, so I don't know, like, if we did uh, a good job or not. Character is like, Drake looks awesome. I'm glad you uh, said that. Brainwave is from Stargirl. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Like, the new show? Is this, is this a new show called Stargirl? I think it is, isn't it? Uh, so this is Wayne from Wayne's World right here. A bit more of the uh, obscure request that we have been given, but... Again, I think from what we could, we definitely captured uh, some of the personality and elements of that character. Uh, then we built Jay Garrick, which was a relatively tough character to build because it's tough to build like that helmet that he wears. But I would say that we still did manage to capture most of the aspects that you would want to see from Jay Garrick. I think we did do that pretty well. Obviously, he has his speedster ability, and we did our best to try to actually replicate... Um, the helmet. And when he's running fast, totally looks like Jay Garrick, right? You wouldn't even notice. Then again, he could be probably pretty much anyone. Okay. Um, next up, we had built Deadpool. So all you Deadpool fans, I'm sure you'll be happy with this design. Here is Deadpool. Looking pretty epic. We went this time with the dual-wielding pistols. Obviously, you could go with katanas if you want instead. Uh, it's really just your personal preference. What kind of a weapon choice you want to uh, add to your particular character's you can adjust that accordingly to what you think is best. Uh, then we went ahead and built Jason Todd Robin, who actually was one of the best designs that we've done. In fact, like I would say that that pretty much looks like an official minifigure. Like I, I honestly think, like not to give myself too many compliments, but I really do think we did an excellent job with this particular uh, design as well. And then last, but certainly not least, our first character that we built today was actually Future Trunks, from the Dragon Ball Z series. So there he is. Looking pretty epic indeed. I'm kind of realizing that I gave him two belts. So I messed that up. So yeah, that, that needs to be adjusted. But other than that, pretty good. So uh, let me know what is your favorite character. And while you guys are doing that, I want to go on ahead and obviously, uh, first and foremost, ask you guys to, while you're leaving your vote for your favorite character, there's 12 to choose from. We built 12 characters today. Uh, I want to first and foremost give a huge shout out to all of the people who left a like today thank you guys so so very much for that uh then another shout out goes to a lightning uh, strike plays and hamza beast for being our or in phoenix 05 actually being our members here today thank you guys so very much for the support thank you also huge huge shout out to all of our super chatters thank you guys for the extra support on the stream and with that in mind also guys if you haven't dropped a like yet please consider doing so let's take a look at chat what the votes are looking like 
Trunks, four out of ten. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Godspeed is my favorite. Okay, Thomas Lund with a good selection. I respect that. Wow. Lightning uh, Strike Play says Jay and Scarlet Spider. Nice. Good picks. Uh, Casper Cezella says I like Rick. Okay. It looks like there's a lot of votes for Godspeed, which is interesting. I did not expect that. I mean, I thought we did a good job. I just didn't expect that that would be everybody's favorite. Uh, Ruiz says Scarlet Spider is my favorite. We also got another super chat to end the stream. Roman Walker, thank you for the 199 super chat, my friend. Thank you for the support. Godspeed. Well, yeah. Okay. So if I had to declare an early winner out of all the 12 characters we built today, it looks like Godspeed is the one because that's the one that most people uh, seem to have liked the best. So. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I will hopefully catch you guys here next week. Of course, there's going to be another uh, custom stream, same time. So keep in mind, again, if you're wondering like, hey, when do I tune in? When is the next one of these? Exactly same time, same day, 5.30. Be here on Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? I'm not... Yeah, okay. For a second, I was like, is today Thursday? On Wednesday... 5.30, we'll be back again, and we'll get to customizing another 12 characters, including uh, Avatar's Aang and Red Hood. Those are two characters that have already been requested. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so very much for your support, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys here tomorrow for the Spider-Man PS4 stream. Bye.